but that's not how it works. Recycling, first and foremost, is a business. When recycled goods get picked up by the state's Waste Management Corporation, they are taken to a Materials Recovery Facility, MRF, where everything is separated and packaged up to be sent to another facility where it's processed depending on the material. But in order for the recyclable material to get to its proper sorting center, someone has to buy it first. And that's where we have a problem. Recycling has worked well for the last 40 years because recycled waste was valuable and in high demand in countries around the world. The United States has historically sold most of its recycled goods to China. Contamination levels in America are at 25% right now, meaning one out four items in a recycling bin should actually be thrown in the trash, according to waste management. But China wants the contamination levels down to 0.3% which is effectively code for we will not be accepting any imported recyclable materials. China is sort of saying to itself we want our socio-economic industrial programs to have recyclable programs like America does, National Waste and Recycling Association Director Steve Changaris said. This causes problems on two fronts, he explained. Second, the U.S. has more supply than these countries are demanding. The material keeps coming in. It's piling up and the value is diminishing, Changaris said. And recycling isn't free. Many materials recovery facilities, MRF, especially in states that don't put much emphasis on recycling policies, are going to be facing a hard decision as they continue to lose profit. Unless they come up with a sustainable solution, recycling in large swaths of the United States might come to an end. In the future, cities less committed to sustainability might have to drop their recycling programs in favor of an easier disposal program, Sims Municipal Recycling Manager Tom Outerbridge said. Otherwise, the more comfortable position is continue to work within the already established infrastructure and try and update it to meet the new world order. Outerbridge says some ideas are already floating around. But beginning that process is a huge risk. We don't know for sure if this world is the new status quo, Outerbridge said. Current tensions between China and the U.S. certainly aren't helping. The Trump administration's recent efforts to increase U.S. production of goods by increasing tariffs on Chinese goods has led to full-scale retaliation by the Chinese government. It's safe to say the whole infrastructure is in limbo right now, as corporations weigh their options. A spokesperson from the Environment Protection Agency, EPA, acknowledged via email that the government organization recognizes the challenges that lie ahead when it comes to updating recycling infrastructure. The EPA is communicating with governments at the federal, state and local levels, as well as stakeholders at the private sector, to determine what, if any, additional steps should be taken at the national level regarding the domestic management of materials the spokesperson explained. In the meantime, MRFs are tightening up production by adding more staff to ensure that the materials collected are of the best quality, as well as altering what is collected to more closely match the market demand according to the EPA. Recycling hasn't reached critical failure just yet, but the industry is in desperate need of an upgrade. The alternative is a world full of trash.